Okay, we're going to add one more thing to our side scroller. Uh, for example, when I'm at the back here, I want to be able to go all the way to the back of the wall there. So right now it stops me at 50. So you need, we need to think, when do I want to move my hero um, to the left? So I'm in this part of my code. So it's when he is less than or greater than 50, which is true. Or we're going to put an or statement in here. So this is going to be a little uh, new. The or statement is a double vertical line. So it's above your enter key, um, shift, and then the backslash. So it makes these double vertical lines. So that's not the right spot, right here. So when it is greater than 50, I want to be able to move my hero left. Or if these two things are true, hero.x is greater than zero, not her, hero. So if my hero.x is, is greater than zero, like I want to be able to move left, and, so I need to put inside of here, and, so that's and, and, what else is true? Well, my background is all the way to the spot where it should be here. So that value is bg.x is, um, greater than or equal to bg dot width divided by two. I believe that is what I should have, okay? So if it's less than that, it will do this. If it's greater than that, it should move the hero. So I think this is good. Yes, so if I show blocks, this is, so you gotta make sure you get your parentheses in there because it's or, these two conditions have to be met. So now when I run it, should be able to go this way. Oh yeah, all the way to there. Comes out, moves the background, moves the background all the way, and then there I can go to the very end of my screen. Now I wanna be able to do the same thing on this end. So this is when I'm keying right, Again, right now it's going to stop the screen and be a dead stop, and I can't go on the on the right half of my screen to the end. So I need to be able to adjust that. So when do I want to move my hero here? Well, I want to move the hero when it's less than 200. So the hero moved from in this space over to here. So for example, like from here to here, that's true. But I also want him to be able to move right when the hero is less than 400. So again, I'm gonna go into show text. So this is my moving my hero. So either when the hero value is less than 200 or hero.x value is less than 400 and what else has to be true? I am at the greatest extent of this thing. So I'm gonna copy this and say when bg.x is um, less than or equal to that. So I gotta mathematically get that right. So if you look at this, this is a greater than symbol, so I'm doing the exact opposite. So that's a less than or equal to. And then make sure I get my parentheses in here. I think I'm good. I've got a double parenthesis at the end. That closes this one, you can see that. And then my last one closes um, the first part of the if statement. So you can see those how those paired. Um, so now let's reset and rerun. Again, you can go all the way to the back. Should be able to side scroll all the way forward. And should be able to, when I get to the end, push all the way forward to the edge of the screen. There it is. There it is. It won't move until I get back to here. Oh, that's sweet. Okay. So that, that's how you make a side scroller. Now the great thing is, is if you change the level, so now I'm gonna to go to background two, because I used all those variables that are based on the background, this should, oh. So one thing that we've gotta do is right here. When we initially set the X value of the sprite, we've not really created the background in the animation. So right after that, we're going to reset the background position. So we're going to say background.x 
gets um, background dot width divided by two. So now what it's going to do is it's going to calculate um, the half the width and set it at bg dot x. So now it puts it in the right spot. So no matter what background we pick, so if I go here, and now puts it in the correct spot. And you're like, well, how do you know? Well, there it is. It goes to this edge. I reset it, do a new background uh, to background two. This one's shorter. But again, does the same thing. Puts in the right spot. I should be able to go all the way to the end and then push forward on this one as well. Takes me all the way back, pushes there. Now let's say that you don't like that it goes that far back um, in terms of, okay, when I push forward, I don't want it to go to there. I want it to be at 100 to like 200 or 100 to 150. Well, you can change that uh, right here. And we could create some variables to make that a little bit easier to manage. So for example, I could create like hero x max. And I could say that that hero x max value is 150. And then I could do another variable, hero x min. And I could say that that value is 100. So now in my code right here, this is hero x max. And down here is going to be my hero uh, x min. And now when I do that, it starts me here. Again, I can still do that, but now it'll push forward at 150 and push back at 100. So now I have a smaller window of my sprite moving forward and backward before it moves the screen. So you can see that works great. Come all the way back. And let's say you want a larger window. So let's say that we want that to be you know, 350 for the max before it starts pushing forward. So here we go, we can move all the way to 350. That pushes forward there. So maybe I want to do that 300. And now it'll push forward at 300, push back at 100. And again, I think 300 is too much, but I'm just trying to prove a point that you could create those variables to, to do what you want there. Um, you know, you might, <clears throat> you might want it to be 250 to 150. So you kind of stay in this middle range of your, of your space. So again, I'm just change this to 250. Change this value here to 150. And now we'll push forward when I get to 250, push back when I get to 150. There you go. That's your side scroller. Hopefully that sets up your, your work that you need. And you can kind of build from there. But really, uh, you know, thinking through the logic of what you want your hero to do, how you want him to interact, and where that background sprite is in space, really drawing that out on paper is, is critical to getting this to work right. Have a great day.